So here is our um, band stretching routine that most of our athletes and most of our teams know and will go through after a um, after workout, after practice sometimes. Some of our teams even have purchased their own stretch bands. Again, these are, I believe they're the light ones from Elite FTS, I think. Yeah, um, but to get these set up and what I'll do is usually what we'll have our athletes do is go through 10 stretches on each part um, or each different exercise. I'm only gonna go through maybe two or three um, just to kind of give you an idea of what it is just so it doesn't take so long in the video. Um, but the important thing is, is in, in the way that we've used this actually is in kind of two different, two different ways. So before a workout, before a session, before practice, um, just to go through a quick one without a hold. Um, and you'll see what that, what that means. Um, but then usually after practice and after uh, a lift or something like that, excuse me, we will have them do a hold in each of those positions. Um, or at least in that stretch position for, um, I don't know, generally a two count, three count maybe. Um, uh, for purposes of this video, I'll go through it relatively quickly, but just realize um, that we have used it in both ways, um, where you hold that end stretch, and you'll kind of see what I, what I mean, um, you know, generally for a, a couple of second count. And then um, before practice or before lifts, like I said, it'll be more of a just a quick out, get to that end range and come back down. Um, but the first thing that we'll do is we'll use the, the band around our foot. We'll loop it twice just so it stays secure. Um, we'll lay back on our back. Um, and this one, I like to try and force that other leg just to stay down to try and separate the hips a little bit. Sometimes kids will get into their knee um, where it'll be a little bit higher, but I like to try and pull it down just so that we get a little bit bigger stretch through that hip um, and try and separate our knees a little bit more. So we'll lean back. Again, we'll pull and then Drop that foot down. So again, I'm gonna go through these a little bit faster. And obviously you can get a hold and you can stay in this position for a couple seconds. And then as you go through, maybe after a lift. So then the second one, we're gonna reach a little bit farther up, grab the band, pull it down, and we're just holding tight. We're gonna let our knee bend and then extend. And extend. And extend. Right? Again, you can do that relatively quickly. Not so uh, fast that it's a, in a ballistic way, but just a nice get to the stretch and then come back out, get to the stretch, come back out. Um, the next one will be, um, again, these are, can be a little complicated, but make a loop with my left hand and my right foot. We're gonna bring the band around our head, okay? Leaning back and then we're stretching out to the side, getting a little bit more of that inner groin, okay? Use this opposite hand to balance that leg so it doesn't foot just fall down to the ground. We'll get a couple of couple there, flip it around. Now right hand, right leg, cross. I will get kind of that outside of that hip um, into that glute a little bit more. Again, let that knee bend relax a little bit and then press that heel as far away from it as you can. Next one you can do, you're gonna actually use both legs. <clears throat> Rest that heel um, or the ankle area just above the knee. You can lean back. And we can do kind of that piriformis figure four type of stretch. Pulling back. Last one would be for our quad. So again, right arm, right leg. We're gonna roll to our uh, left side. We'll pull the band around and over our left shoulder. We'll extend and pull that band as much as we can and then pull it over our shoulder and then lock it in place. And then I just like to make little circles. Again, you don't have to go crazy with it. You should feel a stretch. Anyway, sometimes I like to pull that, extra, that knee up a little bit more on my left side. And you should feel that stretch. But I'll make a couple circles to the right, clockwise, a couple counterclockwise, just kind of whatever feels good. And so that's our series. Now, obviously, we'll do the other side just so you can get another look at it. And the first one, leg stays pretty straight. Again, get a good stretch up at the top, drive that heel down. And again, you're not really releasing the tension in the band, you're just kind of letting it fall. Pull the hands up a little bit higher, elbows down to the floor. Again, you can adjust how intense the stretch is by how much you pull on this one especially. Okay. 
Now again, opposite hand, opposite foot, so left leg, right arm. I'll loop around, back around my head. Use my left hand to support, just so that leg doesn't fall too down, too close to the floor. And I can even adjust some of that tension with this left hand too, or it can just be there to support. Now, same arm, same leg. We'll come back across the body. Into that figure four. Okay, you can use your hands, and again, you can use that other leg to pull, get that stretch through that glute, piriformis area, I guess. Now, you'll be able to see this one. Same arm, same leg, rolling onto our right shoulder, up and over my shoulder, over the opposite side. And again, just little circles. You can pull that knee up a little bit if you want. Circles clockwise, circles counterclockwise. Ooh. Now again, I rush through that pretty quickly. Uh, we'll generally have our athletes use um, 10 reps at each position. And again, before, generally they'll go through it pretty quick. Um, and then afterwards, we'll give them, we'll really push for a two to three second pause in each of those stretches.